what the hell is happening here? Yeah, this is working out real good. The hell is... Hold on. I don't know. You're putting it... Oh, for frick's sake. What's up, YouTube? Welcome to the Guy Meister. Today, we have a really cool unboxing. We're going to be looking at the Rock Island Armory 1911. A2 TAC Ultra and inside there you have the cable lock firearm safety it depends on you you have the manual and you have an inspection certificate with some spent casing in it and here it is one of the biggest complaints people have about the 1911 is its low capacity meaning it only holds eight rounds at a time now this gun completely fixes that if you look right here, this is a double stack magazine that goes in there. Nice big magwell. And what we've got right here is a standard 1911 eight round magazine. And you can see when it goes in there, it's about half, right? And when you look at the one that comes with it, double stack. The mag itself holds 14 rounds. So with the full mag and one in the chamber, that's 15 rounds of 45 ACP, which is awesome. Uh, one thing I really like is I have a big hand. So for me, the wider grip, because of the double stack, feels really nice. Let's talk about some of the great features that come standard on this gun. You have a really nice G10 grip that comes with it. Super nice magwell. Just going to aid in speed loading. Plus, I've also found that my finger rests really nicely up against the magwell right there. Just feels really good in the hand. You got a nice dovetail here. You have a skeletonized hammer. Nice checkering on the mainspring. You've got serrations, front and rear, on the slide. You've got fully adjustable trigger, fully adjustable sights in the rear for windage and elevation. Really nice fiber optic sight up front. You've got an ambidextrous safety. You've got a full tactical rail down here for any attachments you want to put on, whether it be a flashlight, laser, whatever you like. Full size guide rod on this one. And uh, it just feels really, really great in the hand. I've never fired this gun, so I'm going to go ahead and just load up the magazine with five rounds. I just want to put some test shots down there and see where we're at. Seems to shoot pretty well. Um, has a pretty low recoil, I can tell you that right now. So we got a pretty cool target range set up today. Let me go show you what we got and kind of what I was thinking we'd do. We're going to start over here on this side. What we've got here is we've got four standard cinder blocks, two liter bottle. Now we're just going to punch through this. I want to see if we can uh, kind of get rid of these all together. Then we've got the metal plate, which is great. Which, by the way, we're going to do some exploding spray paint because that's a good one. Over here, we've got some state-of-the-art TVs. We're going to go ahead and just see if we can't destroy these completely. We've got uh, your standard Gunmeister simulated body parts and a two liter. So let's go get reloaded. I'm going to grab that first two liter. I'm going to go a little bit closer for this one, and we're going to do the cinder blocks. Let's see if we can't get rid of all of them. Hmm. Well, we got some, some destruction. This one's interesting. Went right in there, all the way through. Which is not real common for the cinder block test. See? In one side and out the other. But uh, this is still standing, so we're going to have to fix that. Okay! Cinder blocks are done. Let's move on to the next one. Let's go for uh, the two liter on top. Do one shot to the top TV. Look at that. I'm gonna go ahead and pop a couple right in that bad boy right now. As a marker, so you guys know what I'm shooting at, 
I put the simulated body part on the TV that I'm shooting at next, so you know. There we go. I wonder if that went out the back. Let's see. Not looking good. I don't think the cable company is going to be able to fix this one, boys. Yeah, it came out the back right there. Get the bottom one. So all in all, this 45 is a good shooter. Still kind of getting used to the point of aim, but for the most part, this thing runs great. Feels good, shoots good. Put one to the TV. That is some thick glass. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put some of the Gunmeister reactive targets up. You know, I've been in heated negotiations with Walmart, and they told me if I hit a million subscribers, they'll put these in all the stores. So make sure you subscribe. Gunmeister reactive target. One of the things you got to watch out for is after you shoot the Gunmeister reactive target, you got this to deal with every time. Okay. How about that? So what we're going to put up next is the Gunmeister Deluxe, double deluxe uh, reactive target. Never done before in the history of mankind, the double duty Gunmeister target. That's it, it's official. I'm putting a nationwide recall on the double duty Gunmeister reactional targets. They do not work. And I don't want to take your money for a product that sucks ass like that one did. Look at this. Clean shot right through both of them. What's it do? Nothing. What's the stinking flare out? What kind of flare is that? Who makes a flare that you can put out with a bullet? I'm gonna write a strongly worded letter to that company. If you're in the market for a 1911 and your holdback has been the limited capacity, uh, I, I'd really recommend strongly looking at the uh, the Rock Island uh, TAC Ultra with its double stack. Shoots good, feels good. Um, and I'd say with practice with this gun, uh, you could be you could be spot on. Um, it's a little heavy to carry, or not. I mean, it just depends on what you like. Conceal carry, I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. So basically what I'm saying is it may or may not work for you, and it may or may not shoot well for you. But, you should add it to your collection, that way you just have more guns, because you can never have too many guns, you know what I mean? Well, that's gonna do it for this episode of the Gunmeister. I hope you liked it. If you did, like, share, and subscribe. And as always, happy shooting. We'll see you guys next time on the Gunmeister. Probably gonna need to pick up the fire so we sure to. You're not doing that around me again. Holy shit. Well next time something's flying at you, you gotta get out of the way. <laughs> <laughs>